We're back with another episode of Redemption. We just wrapped up game two, heading into game three. At this point in time, we have eight touchdowns, five interceptions, and 800 yards passing. We're throwing the shit out of the ball, but it's not enough. We got to take care of the ball better. We're too many turnovers deep, and these games are a little too close for my liking and not as clean, complimentary football. We're going to see if Kurt Benkert has what it takes in this season to bring Doug Dimidome, new owner of the Miami Dolphins, a championship. Game three against the Broncos. Let's dive in. You know, one thing I noticed was that we don't have the right throwing motion. If you go and look at my throwing motion from the NFL, from any of my clips, it's a lot more slinger than it's not slinger. And right now, they have me with generic slow. Hey, yo, what the f***? That's not going to cut it. We're going to go juice this up a little bit. Give me a little slinger. Give me a little slinger action. That's way more Aaron Rodgers disciple, and I like to see it. The other thing we got to do is we got to go fix these sleeves, man. We need to go to the away sleeves. We had like orange sleeves on the other day. That's not going to cut it at all. We're going to go baggy arm sleeve white, not team color, because it gets kind of sketchy on the alternates. We're going to keep it baggy white. Give us the old Jay Cutler vibes. I like it. Gear wise, I'm going to be the one to say it. I think because I'm not wearing the retro ones, that's why I've thrown so many interceptions. So we're going to go back to our roots. We're going to grab the retro ones. Here we go. Give me the retro ones. Now we're actually going to be in business. The other thing we got to do, now we're talking. Now we can go play games. And I'm telling you, if you don't look entirely perfect, you're not going to play perfect. And that's just that. So make sure you guys look good when you're out there. Week three, Denver Broncos. You know what we do, man. Play season game. Skip the strategy. Play offense only. Let's get back to it. Also, saw some comments this week talking about how I was using the punters and kickers and they made a good point. I need to sim those plays because I should not have control of them because I'm just out here dealing. Let's dive in, man. Game three. Right now, like we're kind of playing like Sam Howell. We're throwing a lot of touchdowns. We're making some great plays, but we're throwing way too many interceptions. So let's just dial back on the risk against a good Broncos team and see what we can do. Here we go. We get the ball first. We're at home. Let's go make a statement. We're going to start by running the ball first off because this Broncos defense is stout. What we're going to do here, we're going to run the ball to the left side to the one technique. We like running our wide zones there. Ooh, we still got good numbers though. They're way off off balance. We should have great numbers. Set it up. Hey, Mostert. I like that. I don't know why they shifted their line away from where I was going. Now let's get into empty. Get this kid spread out so he can see the field. We're going to try to hit Smythe, by the way. Saw the corrections. Smythe here in the flat. No, we're not because we can't throw. We need to get an absolute gimme apparently on a screen to start off and get this momentum going for this young quarterback who's really inconsistent in the passing game. But I guess he's just got to see it go in or else he's going to act like he has the yips all game. Here we go. Inside zone though. We're going to check out of this third and one. We are not afraid to run the ball on third and one. Go Moster. We're not afraid to run the ball. If they give us a light front, we're going to take it. Now let's get into our play action game. We got one high, so we we like it. We're going to see if we get Smythe out here, if they run underneath with the nickel and we get good leverage on the out route. If not, we're going to come all the way back to the comeback on the left side. We got the out route. We got the out route. We got the out route. Come back to it. Let's go, man. That was a dot. Okay, just give a kid a 10-yard out instead of a flat, and he can complete it on his first play of the game. Let's run some different stuff. This would be Dose left you jet yco bow choice out is the route by sobert over here on the left used to be my teammate with the atlanta falcons we're gonna read this out react to the corner then we're gonna go read the hook defender on the back side gonna be that backer on the right oh mm -mm, we got him look at that reading the hook defender let's go waddle let's go waddle let's go come on now Hey, this is why the kid chose to go to Miami. Because he's got weapons. Weapons. That was textbook, dude. All right, let's keep passing. Did you see how we read that across the board? Like, that shit felt good. All right, now this would be dose left. Three scat. Let's call this F Indian X go. We're going to go left and right across the board. Flat defender gets taken. Got our X in the middle of the field. Read the triangle. We call that a triangle read versus zone. The two meshes plus the hook stress those in inside backers on their zones and create a triangle read. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to flood out the flat with the flat route. Try to rip RB on a seam in between this void. We're going to have A run a basic and get a little high low and have Cheetah hold the left side safety. Let's see what happens. Flat, got a running back. Getting, in this offense, we're going to get our running backs involved in the passing game. I promise you that. All Madden, 59 overall, by the way. Maybe they'll let me upgrade this week. Let's get back to our CO bow. Let's flip it, though. We like it to this side. The leverage is a little bit better. And, of course, they adjust. It's fine. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to get Waddle on a zig, Smythe on a 10-yard out. Read it this way. Got him. Wide open. Wide open. Ooh, okay, Waddle. Okay, Waddle, five for six, 98 yards and a touchdown. Hey, but we know this series. We don't get too comfortable around here. I promise you that we do not get too comfortable because the interceptions can come out of nowhere. Oh my God, what a cut. Oh, it's a flag, really? Really? That's lame. Holding. 
things you hate to see for a thousand and this is where it starts getting messed up dude now it's gonna be first and 16 let's stay in the gun let's go pa go let's see if we can hit smythe on a nice little easy completion if not we're gonna read that backside hook defender to see how he adjusts to this basic by tyreek hill if somebody comes down and takes smythe right now we might have wilson over the top but i'm not just loving it we'll see we got wilson we got him we got him let's go dude this defense is cooked this might be the 70 to whatever game that they actually had against miami this year madden's realistic here we go red zone scissors red zone scissors quick motion get him to adjust got him it's fine get your yards a little short for red zone scissors but we're not gonna neglect the good play down here tight end corner here we go i love this play i absolutely love this play we would call this sooner with the packers we're gonna see if we get this out route by waddle take them but it looks like they're going red two here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna quick motion smythe out to see if we can get better leverage on this out and snap it and we got the texas got him you see how the how the motion pulled all the underneath coverage on that side to open up room for the Texas? Had I not motioned him, they would have been stationary and would have had bad leverage on the Texas route. Probably wouldn't have scored. Use motion to your advantage. Here we go. 14 nothing, And we got the ball back again. Also, I've seen a lot of comments, people asking, how do you motion? I don't know where I actually learned how to motion, but I'm going to teach you. I press B to grab a receiver, and I move the left stick as I'm pressing B. And what I'm going to do here is press now right on the D-pad or left to move them in that direction and then snap it. Oh, this is where stuff gets ugly. No, dude, I, f I knew it. I called it, I called it. I'm just trying to make a play out here. Trying to make a play. I had three people on me in the back of the end zone. I did it again. I literally did it again. Flashback. This might be the 70 to whatever game that they actually had against Miami this year. This might be the 70 to whatever game that they actually had against Miami this year. This might be the 70 to whatever game that they actually had against Miami this year. <laughs> What do you think? I knew it. I did it again. I just gave them seven points. This quarterback has a little too much far in him for my liking. Let's run the ball. We're going to teach him a lesson. We're going to run the ball. There we go. Come on, Mostert. Come on, Mostert. Might freeze this kid out for a whole quarter at this point. Hey, if that was my homes, though, that would have been a touchdown because he definitely had to play. The other thing you can do that is really useful. So if you have a, a tight end on a regular route, you can motion him out and put him on like a slant or something and bring him back in. I do this a lot because if I try to give him a route from his normal tight end alignment like this, you will end up running like a delayed drag. So it's a way to kind of cheat the system to get the route you want. Oh my God, we got to lead him, dude. We have such good spacing with these receivers, but we're just not hitting our throws. We're not hitting our throws. It's okay. Hopefully we get some level ups for this guy. We might have to start practicing because right now, kid is cooked. We got a quick motion out, get him to adjust their zones, get good leverage on this corner. We don't have it, take it underneath. It's fine. Third and four, get back on the ball. We like the set they're in. We're gonna run a screen here. I like this. Probably gonna be in zone. Looks like they're in zone. They are, they're blitzing, they're blitzing. We got the perfect play call, perfect play call, perfect play call. Let's go. Man, running a screen away from the blitz. Are you kidding me? Let's try to run Waddle on a little out route. See if we can get Mostert out here. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can get Mostert on a one-on-one -on -one corner versus the milk check linebacker. Nope, nope, nope. We got him on the crosser. Oh God. That was the loftiest loft pass I've ever seen in my life. In my whole life. Never before been seen. Oh, we got a good play right here. Tight end wheel. I love this play. Watch, we're going to switch this to the boundary. We're going to have Mostert run a running back seam. Quick motion him out. Snap it. Mess up the rules. Mess up the rules. Oh, I think I have a play. Hey, I think I have a play. Watch me cook real quick. Oh my gosh. This is going to work. We're going to throw it to RB, pitch it to Tyree Kill, and he's going to be out the gate. go oh it almost worked it almost worked it almost worked we're doing it again we're doing it again we're doing it again it's gonna work i believe i so believe let's get him on a slant to get him out of here nope now nah, we're cooked now dude we love we had a chance oh this is straight out of kyle shanahan's playbook this texas return i like this no lie though no lie though look we might get a touch on the waddle here we're gonna keep the tight end in a block because i think something fishy is going on the way that their guys are aligned i think they're bringing pressure slide the line left just to protect off the slot they are bringing pressure. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. But it's fine. We got him. We got him. We got him. Nope. Oh, my God. Catch the ball, dude. That was it. That was it. This QB is seeing the field. He's seeing the field. He saw it. They were disguising. He protected himself, had the right protection through the right ball, and he just dropped it. That play was drawn up on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That was not made on Sunday. I like it, though. That looks like they're bringing pressure again. Slide the line left. You see the nickel over there over Wilson. He's in a weird spot. We'll know for sure if we motion him. 
Hmm. Hear me out. Watch this combo with Waddle. Dude, fourth and nine. Come on, man. We got to kick a field goal. That's tough. We, we had the touchdown, but that's that's this game, man. We got the ball back in red zone territory just in time. All right, do we do it? Do we do it to him one more time? I think we do it to him one more time. Give me the Tyreek looking lateral. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. Nope. No. No. We had it. Oh, we had it, Reek. Oh, we had it. We had it. We had it. What's the penalty? That late ass flag. That is a late ass flag. Are you kidding me? That's not it. Oh, we got a touch on here. Okay, okay. They're blitzing. What are we going to do? We're going to bring the tight end in. This is how you stop some blitzes. Bring the tight end in. Ask him to block. The running back in. Ask his ass to block. Put Waddle on a seam. And then we're going to put Tyreek on a zig like this. And we're going to motion him down. Can't motion him down because we're already motion. That's okay. We got X. We got X. We just got to protect ourselves, baby. Whenever you start seeing yourself getting zero blitzed, just go ahead and do yourself a favor and bring your tight end in. Add him to the protection. Make that edge a little bit wider. And then keep your running back in if you feel like you need it too. Again, they didn't end up blitzing there. They went cover zero and bailed out of it. But more often than not, you're better off just protecting yourself and then getting in a scramble drill if they cover everything. Ooh, they got points before halftime. We're playing relatively clean football for our quarterback standards right now. Ooh, they scored a touchdown. Okay. 17-24. They had a good opening drive. Let's see if we can get some completions here. Let's just get and completions 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 no nope. oh my god you've got to be kidding me dude oh i knew i shouldn't have ran that play i just i knew it i knew i shouldn't have ran that play you wish you had that popcorn. there's no reason for me to be running that play the wheels out of the backfield are so risky in this game nothing is worth it and we just gave them seven free points and what do you know we find ourselves for three consecutive weeks in a game because our quarterback just plays risky ball that's okay because we trust him still even though we shouldn't cover three let's try to rip a seam if not we're going to check it down to the flat it's tyreek or mostert just do that got it to the flat bam got it there we go second and one we're keeping people in this game too long where we shouldn't this game should be over also taking running back wheels completely out of my playbook like wide wheels not seems wide wheels here we go now what i like here give me moster on a little burst across the formation read this hook defender on the left side also if we get smite out leveraging right now we're gonna take him we don't we got the burst route <clears throat> what the f is that look like we've never thrown pat and go routes on air none of that before that's just inside zone huh? i read come over and block please Go get him, bro. Go get his ass. 74? You're like pass protecting. What are you doing? Let's run dagger. Some call it hooters. Actually a play. We're going to read the hook defender to the right to the hook defender on the left. What happens? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh my God. He's untouched. Come on. Second and 22. I'm not going to lie to you. That's the first swing of momentum in this game that I felt like... This is a little uncomfortable. Tight end in. Keep them in just in case they go double A. Slide the line left. If we have to drift right, we will. All right, they're out of it. They're out of it. They're out of it. They're out of it. Go to Tyreek. Get some yak. Not a whole lot of yak. Get back in the ball. Get him uncomfortable here. Tyreek on an out route. Snap it. Snap it. Snap it. Nope. 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 Oh, my God. Dude. If we had a corner by why we were money, but we didn't, so we're going to have to punt. We're down by seven. We found our way down by seven because we just couldn't stop a nosebleed and we couldn't move the ball when we needed to. So what are we going to do? We're going to need a legacy drive here. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little nervous, man. This is unfortunate. This is not how we thought the game was going to go today. This might be the 70 to whatever game that they actually had against Miami this year. We're going to have to fight back because we, we called it, dude. We said, look, Madden's going to do it. This might be the 70 to whatever game that they actually had against Miami this year. And then I ended up just throwing interceptions, like, I'm gonna be honest. We got RB, though. We got RB, though. Go. Go, Moser. Go. Hey, step up and make a play. Somebody needs to step up and be a safety blanket for this quarterback. He can't do it all himself. Clearly. Can barely even throw. Quick little motion. Snap it. Get those guys out of there. Look at that. Look at how it set it up, dude. If you could if you could hit somebody 11, that'd be great. Would love for you to hit somebody. Here we go. PA slot go cross. Put Y on a slant. I like this. They're not blitzing. They're not blitzing. They're not blitzing. Nope. Oh, we missed him, dude. Oh, we missed him. That is less than ideal. That's not good. I want to cover one. See if we can get Tyreek on a white linebacker on a slant. Please, for the love of God, just give me a gimme. Give me a gimme. And we're also going to have a seam on this right side with a with a smoke. Hopefully bust up their, their flat rules. We're just going to see what Tyreek does. Nope, we got him. Get the check down. It's fine. Get the first. Here we go. Stick nod. I like Tyreek on a zig a lot. I like Smythe on a... Nope. Oh my God, that should have been PI. That should have been PI, dude. He was getting rubbed all up and down. 
the field. Pause. Choice pivot return. This is Shanahan special. Can we get a corner out the Wilson right here? Can we rip this? Nope. Nope. He dropped it and it was almost picked, dude. No, 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 no. This is not good at all. I don't like this. I don't like how I feel right now. Dude, we can't let them get the momentum like this for real. That's the problem in this game right now. They have all the momentum. Snap it. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. What a huge play. Oh my God, third and 10. When we needed to play most, we knew where to go. Scissors, baby. And he threw a dime. He threw a dime. The motion messed up the rules. Okay, this is what we're going to do now. Now we're going to go into empty from this formation. See how they adjust. Oh my God, they're all f***ed up. Watch what Waddle does here. They're probably going to be blitzing off the slot. We're going to peek A to B to Y. We got it. We got it. We got it. They, they busted. They busted. Let's go. Oh, the motion from the back out of the backfield changed their entire structure and they did not adjust. Motions, baby. You got a motion. Here we go. We're going to get the ball back. We got a minute 10. Oh, man. Why do I have chills playing a game of Madden as myself? Holy 31 31 we're backed up this is like our whole thought process here is we don't have to be too quick we have two timeouts we cannot turn the ball over if we turn the ball over the game's over so try to get some plays that'll pop like a run like a run like a run oh my god get back on the ball get a few plays that'll pop run it again we're not we're not afraid to run inside zone again i'll tell you that right now we're gonna lean on our run running oh my god we're gonna lean on our run game we're gonna set up blocks we're gonna set oh my oh my god he was right there dude he just picked his fat feet up that was a tug oh my god Smythe, Smythe, Smythe. Nope, nope, we don't got Smythe. We don't got Smythe. We don't got Smythe. Throw it away. Oh my god. Our O-line is a liability right now, dude. They had four-man rush. We had six-man pro. Wow. Oh, no, dude. We've got to get in a field goal range here. Like, we have no choice. All right, give me trail shake, baby. Here, this is what we're going to do. Maybe give me an out route to Waddle right here. Motion him down. Give me a Waddle out route. Nope. Dude, you've got to be me. We can't even throw out routes right now. All right, it's third and 23. If we get a 15 yard gain here, that'll put us at the 50, then we're unmanageable. We're not that far off from where we want to be. Holy shit, we might get it. I think I'm going to peek Wilson on a seam and Tyreek over maybe. Ooh, get all these guys to flood out and throw it to Mostert. Watch this play, watch this play. Go deep. Nope. Oh. <sighs> That's okay. I think it was worth it. I think it was worth a shot. Maybe we we're going to get a PI, but let's just get a good punt and we'll take this thing to overtime, dude. Overtime. Okay. They got the ball and they punt. Okay. Look, dude, no negative plays. No negative plays. Literally no negative plays. We can't have sacks. We can't have intentional groundings. Like we just got to get into position for a good field goal. Come on, Reed. Come across just like they do in their motions. Get them into that. Yep. We got him. We got him. We're out the gate. We're out the gate. We're out the gate. If they get a hand on him, we're out the gate. 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 Run game coordinator, skip. Okay, we're running again. Here we go. Let's get him to insert right here. Get it across. Go off the edge, off the edge, off the edge. Skip. Oh, face mask 15, 15. Let them be the suckers to make the mistakes. Finally, something's going our way. We're in field goal range, just about no stupid. Give me inside zone though. Inside zone against this type of defense is way better than any sort of base. Play because a pulling guard can lead to a negative play. What I will say is bring this tight end down, come across. You ready to cut this back door? Got him, got him, got him, got him. Let's go. When you see them with a three technique to the play side, you can start getting indicators in your mind that you're going to wind it back to the same side you came from. So like right here, I'm running to the one technique. What I want to do here, if you guys are into the run game stuff, how do I, ooh. Let's go. We're going to run that again. So you can start moving the mic points. You go into pass protection, ID the mic, and you can move it left and right. It's like right here. I'm going to put the mic point here. I'm going to bring my tight end over, see if they adjust. So this is basically telling my O-line that they're working to that guy, the mic, and we're going to leave the backside backer alone. He's who the running back's responsible for. All right, they're tired. Third and six. That's okay. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm afraid of missing a field goal because I'm not the one kicking the field goal. It's going to be the computer. So we're going to try to get this first down. But we're not like literally, we're not risking anything. We really don't want to risk a sack, but a sack's not the worst thing in the world. You're tempting me now, dog. You're tempting me. You're really tempting me with Smythe in the seam here. Is this backer going to do it? Slide line to the right. If he is coming, good. If not, we got Tyreek on the zig. We're going to go A to RB to Y. We got A. We got A. We got A. Scoop. Oh my God, let's go. Get back on the ball. Get back on the ball. They're going to stay in this set. We're going to we're gonna end it like this. We're loud over there. Oh, he just went inside leverage on Tyreek. We're going to run a zig. We're going to slide the line left. We might throw a touchdown to Tyreek. If not, we're taking a sack. Got him. Got him. Got him. That's game, man. Let's go, dude. 
What? What a three game stretch by this kid. He has not been perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but he's gritty and he will put it all on the line for his team every single week. And he's willing to do what it takes, dude. That's all you can ask for a guy like this. Guy off the streets, put him in the starting lineup, gave him some weapons. The future's looking bright in Miami now. Come on now, 3-0, and all nail biter games. New white sleeves, kind of fire. Completion percentage was better, dude. 106 rating, 23 of 37, 62%. Five tugs, two interceptions, 8.5 average. 317. What I really want to shout out to though is our run game, dude. Mostert 12 carries, 111 yards, 9.2 average. I like that. Hey, it wasn't pretty, but I promise you one thing. It's never going to be pretty with this kid, but he's gritty and he can sling it and I'm liking what it looks like. Ooh, pause right there. Look at what we got. Look at what we got. The kid got an upgrade, man. That's earned. Earn not given. Sheesh. Let's go see what we're going to put it on real quick. Let's go strong arm, man. But let's go stick with the mold, baby. 60 overall. A four one out for the kid. 60 overall QB leading the way. But look, man, if you guys are enjoying this, we're going to drop in to week four soon. Got a big matchup coming up. If you're enjoying the series, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, show it all the love because we got a lot of videos coming in a short time. It's going to be dope, man. Thank you guys for being here. Until next time, Redemption Series, episode three. We're out.